Now let's look at some examples for transformers. So look at this question one. We have a transformer. Initially, it has 240 volts. Okay. So this, uh, yeah, the primary coil is the first coil. Okay. Now, at the right hand side, the secondary coil has 11.3. Walls. And uh, we, what we need to do is we need to uh, measure the current. Okay. So when I do this type of question, what I do is I normally write down the equation for um, transformers. Okay. So the number of coil in primary N1 okay, divided by the number of coil in secondary yeah, N2, okay. the ratio of N1 and N2 is same as the ratio of V1 and V2, is the same as the ratio of I2 and I1. Okay. Now, be careful with this twist. So in this case, In this case, I need to find I1. Okay. I know yeah, I know V1, V2, and I2. So I just use um, yeah, this part of the equation. Okay. So uh, if you do swap them around, You can basically put down all the values. Just make sure the units are the same. And when, remember, when we're doing calculations, we always use the RMS value. So type it in your calculator. Uh, and you will be able to find the answer. Let's okay, just type this in. Oh, sorry. It's not 240, it's um, 2.2. So type it in, you get your answer in amps. Okay. So let's go on to the next question. So in this question, okay, the question asks for the power of an ideal transformer if has N1, the primary coil, that's N2, and a voltage of primary V1, and the secondary current I, I2. Okay. Now remember, the unit is milliamps, so convert it in amps, 0 0.02. Yep. Okay, so if you, yep. Mm. Okay, it's always a good idea to write down the equation first. Okay, N1 on N2 equals to V1 on V2, but for current, it's reversed, so it's I2 on I1. Okay. So what we need to find is, we need to find the power transferred. Okay. Remember, in a transformer, the power does not change. The power before is the same as the power after. Okay. So the power before is V1 times I1. The power after is V2 times I2. Okay. Now, so, so we either we have V1, well, if you look at the equation, 
wrong. We even need to just find, uh, so in order to find power, okay, I either, well, depends on how you want to do it, but I either use this part of equation or this part of equation, they're both powers. Okay. But what we know is I know V1, if I'm going to use the left-hand side equation, okay, I need to find I1 first. If I'm going to use the right-hand side, this part of the equation, I need to find V2. So either ways, you should get the same answer, because the power before and the power after is the same. Okay. Now, um, for me, I just use V equals to V1, I1. Okay. So I need to find the I, V1 is 240, I need to find the I1. So let's use the equation. So we know, we know the ratio of the coil, and I need to find the I1. So let me just make this two equal. So N1 on N2 equals to I2 on I1, and I need to find I1, I swap this around. I1 on I2 equals to N2 on N1. Okay. So uh, 0 0.02 equals to N2, which is 800, divided by 200. So I1 will be 0 0.02 times 4, which is 0 0.08 amps. So if I put this in, then you have the power. Remember, the units of power is in words. Okay. Down.